What's going on, everybody? We're at an apartment complex. I got my boy in the background. I got my other boy behind the camera, Mr. Carter and Mr. Aaron. And um, we've got a bunch of ducks back here. There's probably about 25 to 30 ducks here behind me. There's another pond just behind the camera that's got another 20 to 30 ducks, probably 50 to 60 ducks in this area. And we've actually already trapped and removed a whole bunch of ducks last year from this location. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a big remote controlled drop net that we use for big bird situations like this. We use them for peacocks, Muscovy ducks, Canadian geese. These Muscovy ducks are not native. They're not from here. And what they do is they kind of dominate. They're a big bully duck. So they dominate and take over territories where native ducks would inhabit if these guys weren't here. So we're gonna catch and remove these ducks. The good thing is a lot of these ducks are gonna go to farms and places that actually raise Muscovy ducks for meat and egg purposes. But we're also gonna probably try one of these Muscovy ducks out for ourselves. We've heard that mixed reviews, some people say they taste terrible, and some people say they taste really good. So we're gonna see if we can catch them. And I think we might be able to set up this net and actually drop it on some ducks today because they are pretty hungry. You can tell they've been fed. So let's do it. So this net actually comes in three different sizes that we have it in three different sizes. It comes in a whole plethora of sizes. But this is the 20 foot by 20 foot. We have a 25 by 25 and a 40 by 40. So this is the smallest net. And for this space, this is about as big of a net as we could fit in here. But the way this net works is it's all, these are all magnets. They're electromagnets that are hooked up to a power system, to a battery, a 12, big 12 volt battery. And when we push the remote control button, all four of these magnets are released. Right now they're being held in by pins. When we hook it up, the magnets are engaged. We pull the pins and the only thing holding it is that magnet. So when we push that button, it releases the magnets and the net drops and the fun starts. This is a very controversial subject because we have people that come up and they're like, what are you guys doing with the ducks? Why are you removing the ducks? We enjoy feeding the ducks. Well, they're probably on the opposite end of the pond where they're not having to deal with the ducks every day, but they're only getting to see the positive parts of the ducks, feeding the ducks, enjoying seeing them, things like that. But they're not having to walk in their poop. We had a situation recently where a guy actually had his dog get very sick. He took it to the vet and the vet confirmed that that, I can't remember what disease or what sickness it was that the dog got, but he got it directly from these Muscovy ducks. They confirmed that 100%. So these ducks carry disease. They're very dirty. They're not meant to be here. They're not native. And um, they just need to be managed. I'm under the net. We just set it up and obviously you can see um, these ducks are pretty hungry because of the amount of ducks. This habitat cannot sustain this many ducks in one area. And uh, Muscovy ducks are not migratory. They might fly from pond to pond if, you know, pretty close, but they are territorial and they hang out in one spot. We're gonna go ahead and do a drop on these ducks in just a hot second. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get to the edge, get to that edge. Woo. All right, we haven't gotten the count yet, but uh, one, two, three, four, a lot of ducks. There's a whole pile of Muscovy. A lot of these are Muscovy mallard hybrids. They will cross, but they're all piled up right there. They can't go anywhere. They can move around a little bit, but they're pretty stuck. <laughs> we got a lot of ducks. I have no idea how many, but. We got quackers everywhere. <laughs> all right, so they don't hurt themselves at all. They just get kind of tangled up in there and can't move. And they get their head through, especially that just holds them. The hardest part sometimes is getting them untangled. And this guy's definitely a mallard hybrid. You can see that nice green tint to it, but. So he's free. And everybody loves ducks. I mean, who doesn't? Ducks are awesome. But the fact is these guys make a heck of a mess. There's poop everywhere on the sidewalks, just absolutely everywhere. And you can't just let them be because in one year, I mean, they've completely repopulated. Would you say, Carter, there's more now than there was before, about the same amount? Oh, definitely more. More now than there was before. And these guys are under management. We've removed tons of these ducks, 40 or 50 probably. So they just reproduce at an incredibly rapid rate. They're not native, and that's why we're removing them. This guy's gonna be delicious. 
this drop net is incredible. It took us about 15 minutes to set it up. And my buddy, Tyler, at Wildlife Capture Services, I gotta give them a shout out because Tyler is an awesome guy. He really cares about all his customers. He loves what he does. And he makes an excellent product. We've been using these drop nets for years. They work awesome for catching a lot of animals at one time. We're using for ducks, peacocks, um, hogs, Canadian geese, even coyotes and dogs. They've been using them a lot for dogs that won't, that are hard to catch, they're just a little too shy and they might get out of somebody's house or yard, especially rescue dogs. But these drop nets work, work great for catching dogs because they'll walk right under it and don't know they're walking into a trap, so it's pretty cool. If we can't identify this is a hybrid, we'll go ahead and... Actually, I'm gonna say she's not a hybrid. Bluish, teal colored, and that's just gorgeous but I'm gonna go ahead and turn her loose because we're contracted only to remove the Muscovies. So, you don't wanna go? She's cute. Go on. What do you guys think about the, all these ducks? Cause it's cool. <laughs> All right, so we ended up catching 25 of these Muscovy ducks and we try to find homes for as many of these ducks as we can. And typically we do find homes, different farms, people that raise them for eggs, people that raise them for meat, things like that. We're able to find homes for a majority of them, but there are just so many of these ducks. You guys saw how many ducks there were just at this one job. And we get calls like that weekly for Muscovy ducks to remove. There's tons of them here in Florida. They were introduced illegally actually, released as ornamental pets and for meat. And um, so we went ahead and dispatched one of these ducks and we're gonna go ahead and butcher it, throw it in the oven. One of my Vietnamese friends gave us a recipe to try. We've kind of put our own little spin on it because their recipe was like a seven hour recipe. So we uh, kind of condensed it. We like to keep it simple around here. We've got this nice male, full grown, but still young. And it should be young and tender and nice. So we're gonna go ahead and butcher this thing, get it cleaned up, get it plucked, and ready for the oven. All right, it was as easy as that. Who am I kidding? There was nothing easy about that. I've never plucked a duck before and I hope to never do it again. That took about two hours. I ended up plucking the whole duck, taking the guts out, that's the easy part, but the hard part is all these little pin feathers and it seems like I'll never get them, but I got as many as I possibly could and um, it's really, it's about the size of a chicken, but I'm pretty hopeful. I think this bird's gonna actually be pretty good. So let's go ahead and meet Gloria in the kitchen. Alrighty, everybody, so we got this recipe from some of our Vietnamese friends, so a little different, but since this is a wild Muscovy, they recommend rubbing it down with ginger and rice wine vinegar to kind of get, get rid of the gamey smell that's on the outside, so we're just gonna rub this down. I had already done the other side. And then I've got my rice wine vinegar. Just gonna brush that. So they recommend marinating it for at least four hours, but we're gonna do it overnight, because overnight's even better. So this is all gonna go in the inside of the cavity of the duck. So this is just a mixture of soy sauce, honey, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and I think that's it. So just pour that in. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the outside too. And then I have over here pre-sliced some ginger. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff some of this ginger in here. And then I've got some shallots that I've just cut in half and we're gonna put the shallots inside the cavity. And then some green onions. So easy peasy, but it should be full of great flavor. Stuff all that in there. Now we're just gonna use these little bamboo skewers and just kind of close that cavity up as well, try to just hold everything. <laughs> in there, all right. So we are gonna let this sit in the fridge uncovered overnight. And like I said, it could be either 
for at least four hours, but they do recommend overnight for it to really take on all these good flavors. We've got a preheated oven to 350. So we are going to cook this for an hour and 15 minutes, but you wanna make sure to flip it every 30 minutes because it's gonna get real crispy and, and delicious. I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes and come back to flip it. All right, it's been 30 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and try to flip the duck here. There we go. And put it in there for 30 more minutes and we'll do it again. Let's take a look at her. Oh yeah, it looks, looks, looks really incredible. good. Super crispy, yep. it's definitely done. It's not very big, it looks like a, if, if I didn't know any better, I would say that it's a chicken. But it's just a young Muscovy duck, very hot. We're gonna give it a few minutes to cool and then go ahead and carve it up and I'm excited to try it, first time. All my Vietnamese friends, they say it's incredible, but I've never tried Muscovy duck. They don't look incredible while they're alive, but that looks pretty incredible. Excited to try it. Yeah, I think you did good. All right, let's chop this sucker up. <laughs> I'm not the one that typically cuts the birds. And you don't want to see me cut a bird, so. <laughs> yeah, I usually want the one that uh, carves the turkey at Thanksgiving dinner. I'm gonna, good. Good, but I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the wings off, cut the, the legs off, and similar to a chicken, you just kind of pull it back and find that little joint right there and just uh, kind of hack at it. It smells good. It does smell good. It's yeah, definitely a dark meat. Flavors. You can see it looks, uh, looks much different than chicken. See how dark that meat is? And I'm eager to get to the breast. So let's, let's carve a little few of these pieces of breast. Here, let me grab this. Carve a few of these pieces of breast off and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Looks way different than chicken. You can definitely mm -hmm. tell that's duck. Not only duck, but it's it's like a it's like a gamey looking looking duck. I do love duck. Try it. It's a bomb well. I mean, you, you did a beautiful job. Hmm. All right, well, let's take a bite. Let's try it. I'm just gonna try a little piece. I don't want to overcommit. Cheers. <laughs> you can't eat it and spit it back out. Cheers. I never commit. I don't mind it. I mean, it tastes like just dark meat chicken to me. So, I'm trying to find some of the flavors that I... So there's a hint of liver, like that liver taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've ever had chicken liver, which I love chicken liver. Oh, I, okay. The aftertaste, I taste it now. Yeah, it's like a, I guess, an irony, mm -hmm. slight metallic-y metallic taste, which mm -hmm. sounds bad, but it, I love chicken liver. If you're not a liver yeah. fan, you probably wouldn't like this. It's definitely not a gamey taste. Mm -mm. It's, it's like just a slight, slight um, livery taste, hmm. which is just that, that uh, really dark meat. It's not bad at all. It's really not. Um, I do think it's a bit overcooked, no. but it's not dried out. It's mm -hmm. just it's not. really well done. But, but we usually like our stuff extra crispy, so that's why. Oh, yeah. That's his favorite part of the meal right there. <laughs> Tran. This duck's for you. Maybe right. a piece. Mm -hmm. Give me that. That little one? This one. Yeah. yeah let's go ahead for it. Yeah. Liver paste. Yeah. Do you like liver? Mm -hmm. I don't like liver. <laughs> right. So we got one thumbs down. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, it's very tender. I mean, it's not like repulsive. Yeah. <laughs> but it. It's just not that little aftertaste, but it's very, yeah. All right, we got the brother here, Tyler, um, also known as the Squirt. <laughs> That's his nickname. Uh, so, the way I was conceived. Yeah. Um, but Tyler's here, and you've had duck before, right? I've had duck before, but nothing quite like this. I want some of the skin. 
It's a Muscogee it duck. Really good. Straight out of the yard. Fresh out of the yard. Somebody's yard. I don't like it. Do or don't? Mm -hmm. It tastes like duck. It's like normal duck with a slight hint of liver. Mm -hmm. But not overpowering. Like I don't like straight liver. It's good. I need it. Yeah. I think it needs some kind of sauce. I think if we had a sauce on it, just because of just dry. because of the yeah dryness, we wanted it crispy. I'd rather it have be crispy, you know, and a little yeah, bit dry because we can a, always a little bit add a little bit of moisture. If it was not dry, I'd give it like an eight. Like I like it a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we've had we got three thumbs ups, one thumb down, and uh, we're gonna just eat it all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Too. All right, we're we're exhausted to be honest with you. We've been flounder gigging all night, and as soon as this camera turns off, we're gonna go flounder gigging again. See if we can stick some. Check out this flounder I stuck last night. Actually, a personal best, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll make it on a future episode of It's Wildlife. But we love to be able to use um, every everything that we kill, everything that we harvest, anything that's not native that we can't relocate. We, um, we don't eat it all, obviously, but we definitely want to try it. And now we can promote it and tell people that it's delicious and yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great so too. that's all we have for you tonight. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, stay wild.